Hi everyone. Uh, you must be tired. I know that, but this is this is going to be the last talk. So just give me 10 minutes. So I'm Tomoya with Sony Corporation. I'm going to talk about applying Cilium at Edge. Uh, so I'm a software engineer at Sony R&D Center based in US. And uh, most likely, I work on the uh, open source framework that is called Robot Operating System. I'm the, I'm the maintainer for the core system and also the project management committee. And I do. Uh, I3D Think and also the Kube Edge Sig Robotics co-chair. And in terms of the CNC project, uh, I have published a couple of papers with the Kubernetes Edge IoT group, uh, Edge Native Application Principles and Design Behaviors. So if you are interested, pretty much what I have done is on my GitHub repository, so you can take a look at it. So. Uh, since this talk is related to the, the use cases at Edge with Cilium, let me quickly explain about what is going on at the Edge situation. So at Edge, uh, we have really broad use cases, such as uh, live streaming, entertainment, uh, EV, home devices, robots. Uh, Sony does pretty much of this. And things are getting more mature to do higher tasks, to work together as distributed and system and application. For example, like a multiple robots working together at the same time using a multiple robots arms in the factory and do the collaboration uh, in the factory. So besides that, thinking about Edge AI, they're based on the sensing data uh, from Edge. Oh, sorry. The AGI, based on the sensing data from Edge, uh, we do uh, retrain the network and redeploy the application uh, to that specific device maybe every week and every day. So that said, that said, we need a more circulatory functioning system and the development procedure. Oh, sorry. And at Edge, we have a lot of like hardware dependencies. It's not just about CPU, GPU. We have like a proprietary sensors and the platform accelerations. So those are the platform dependency uh, that, that that is kind of like a pain. And also the network connectivity. So every time we deploy the application, let's say we have the production to the market, we we need to try to figure figure it out how we want to communicate. Uh, the application data plane. So that's the also the situation that we have. And the truth is, uh, those are not really well addressed yet. So at Edge, uh, what happens now is application and the system are constructed in really statically and integrated in specific application and system. So we can see there's a the huge gap between what we do right now and what, what is going to happen in the next few years. So the question is, what do we want? So obviously, we want to have all these things, such as flexible and configurable application deployment, so that we can manage our application fleet as we like. And application engine's perspective, uh, network is really you know, concerns and takes time. So we want to say, give me something I can connect in secure. So that just works for us. And it's really hard to guarantee that require the platform resources when we release the device because we cannot change the hardware once we release it, especially for the edge AI situation. So if we can offload some computation to somewhere, somewhere else like uh, edge server or cloud infrastructure, we can virtually extend the device capability more than it originally has. Uh, we call it a cloud native device and the dealing hundreds of thousands of robots in the factory, we must be able to see the, the entire fleet, what is going on. So it's kind of like observability that we, we need to have. And yeah, so that's the Kubernetes, uh, so that's the, that's the situation. And there's a Kubernetes, the, the fantastic orchestration, the framework, uh, that can support some of our requirements at Edge. Uh, Besides, we can also use Cilium as a container network. 
uh, that also provides the networking with WireGuard VPN and security runtime enforcement and observability. Those are really great, but uh, nothing is perfect. Uh, especially for the Kubernetes perspective, uh, Kubernetes is originally meant to be used in cloud infrastructure. So there are uh, some missing features to support edge. For example, like uh, Kube edge uh, CPU consumption, uh, how much tax we have to pay, and does it pay off for our application? And what if the, we have the unstable network uh, situation? What if the com communication between cloud and edge goes offline for a couple of minutes? What's going to happen? So this is kind of like a situation. So that's, that's exactly the way the Kube Edge uh, comes to play. The Kube Edge is built and aligned with the Kubernetes and provides the core infrastructure support for networking, application deployment, and the metadata synchronization, synchronization between cloud and edge. And it also supports edge autonomy. That means that even if the connectivity between cloud and edge goes offline, edge application can still work without any problems. And once the, once the connection comes back online, everything is going to be synchronized once again and back to normal. And there was a problem that we, we could not enable Cilium on top of Kubech. So uh, we just did it. And simple as that. <laughs> we are engineers, so we find a problem, let's fix it. And mostly what we have done is uh, to fix some issues in Kubech uh, mainline to support Cilium. Uh, I'm not going to go details about how, how we did it, but uh, now the point is we can enable Cilium on top of Kubech. And th th this is a blog that I posted and describes pretty much everything, includes, including like motivation, how we do it, and this kind of thing. So if you are interested, please take a look. And with that, we can do something like this. Once we provision the edge devices and the cloud instances, uh, we use the AWS, by the way. Uh, we can create the cluster with Kubernetes and Kube Edge, something like this. And then enable Cilium with the Viagra BPM. That can allow us to connect between cloud and edge data plane, something like this. We already confirmed using AWS and edge devices at home. Uh, this, was, this was a good start to address our pain in network uh, perspective, especially uh, for the application developers. But we cannot do this yet. So the control plane is just fine. Uh, Kube Edge uses either Quick or WebSocket with TLS connection, but data plane is not accessible in the cluster uh, if the cluster is something like this configuration. This is actually expected problem since the, basically it expects the all nodes in the cluster should be accessible with each other. Besides, WireGuard, WireGuard only uses point to point, the full mesh topology. So once it is enabled by Cilium, so this doesn't work. Uh, in this case, it cannot develop the communication such as cross-edge communication like this behind a different network. So. Uh, my presentation concludes that in a weird way, so just to open the question. So uh, I am not even sure if this is a crazy idea, but uh, any feedback and comments are welcome. Our idea is what if we enable WireGuard by Cilium with user configured network topology controlled by labels or something like something something like that something something else. We already have the POC code with Cilium uh, to develop. Hub and spoke uh, based on to uh, hub and spoke topology with WireGuard, and that enables the cross-edge communication. We already confirmed uh, using AWS and home network devices. And furthermore, what if we can support uh, more flexible network topologies, such as point-to-site or site-to-site? That's going to be really useful for the user application network the problems. So uh, we are happy to work with Cilium, and we will be there. And uh, we, we already have the POC code, so we're going to open the PR. So, and also, we are trying to find some flandries. Uh, so if you are interested in edge perspective or edge use cases, please uh, reach out to us. Uh, maybe we can work something out together. So that, that's all my presentation. And uh, let's go get some drink and enjoy the city.